Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to set up volume tracking with the native ad networks in Google Analytics. Uh, we are assuming here that you do have access to uh, volume as well as Google Analytics already on your pages and uh, we are using the BRAC software. Um, so the first thing we're going to um, want to note here is that we'll be working with these five uh, parameters, uh, basically dimensions uh, in which we can look at our metrics and we'll be passing them into these uh, five UTM parameters from Google Analytics. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And so the first thing uh, we'll want to do is set up the tracking parameters in the traffic source and volume. So you're just going to go in and go to traffic sources and uh, go ahead and create a new one. Um, if it's already an existing one, you'll want to edit it. And I'll go ahead and do one now. I'll create custom and we'll do test. Uh, we'll call this one 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 and I'll skip all the other options and jump right to the part that's uh, relevant here. We're going to put all the UTMs in. I'm going to type them out. You can uh, feel free to uh, just paste them and we're going to put them exactly uh, as uh, Google Analytics likes them. So we'll go through each one here. Uh, once that's done, you're just going to go ahead and hit save. Uh, right, and now we've done the uh, first part of the process. Um, as you can see here, we have an example of that. Next, we're going to set up the offer uh, URL and volume to pass the parameter to Google Analytics. And so in order to do that, we do need to um, have or create an offer. And I'll go ahead and do one from scratch. So uh, you'll go to your offers and we'll create a brand new one. Um, we'll do a new offer and we'll do a US one here and we'll call this one test 1111 as well and uh, the offer URL I'm just going to use um, one of our uh, blog posts here to show you how this works and I'll put that here now um, uh, what you'll want to do is put the UTM parameters as well here we have done most of that work for you um, and actually uh, gave you a URL that you can just co copy and paste. So I'll just take everything that's uh, there um, that's not bolded and I'll copy it. Um, and really what you're seeing uh, here as it's stated is we're taking the UTM parameters and putting the variable names uh, in there. So it's just uh, UTM source equals variable name UTM source etc. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that right in here forward slash and paste it uh, and I'll just go back to make sure everything's good. Um, and then you do want to put a question mark there just to make sure and all right and um, we'll go ahead and hit save so now we've uh, basically told uh, volume once the page loads go ahead and pass those parameters from our traffic source over to the landing page uh, so Google Analytics can pick them up uh, the next thing is going to be setting up the parameters in each traffic source campaign and ad setting. So uh, you'll want to do that in BRAX um, and that's done in the top right corner of your tracking and so you want to go in and now each different uh, ad network calls them something different. Some are BRAX variables, some are by the network so for the source we generally just write that out. Um, for the um, campaign um, we just put the variable in because we'll write that for you and then everybody calls publisher or site something different same thing we've done a lot of the work for you here just copy and paste them all into each one outbrain tabula rev content content dot add etc and they're all available for you right here so go ahead and just paste all those into your settings uh, in BRAX if you do need to uh, retroactively update old campaigns to match uh, you can do that through our power editor here uh, go ahead and reach out to our support if you need help doing that um, once all that's been done, um, you basically have everything set up now. Uh, we will want to test it. And the way we do that is um, we just pull the URL and uh, see if we can uh, get the um, ads to load. So I'll go ahead and do that. I already have a URL prepared. Um, and actually, I'll go ahead and pull it uh, from uh, volume. So this was the um, offer that we have. Uh, we'll want to launch a campaign. So we'll go ahead and click on campaigns. We'll select a new campaign 
and we'll say this is going to be for let's just say this traffic source let's say outbrain taboola rev content yahoo slash um, oath gemini and or content dot uh, again i'll skip over most of this and then we will select um, a path that we want to go through i do a direct linking here and then we're going to select that test test one that we talked about and then we're going to hit save and what that does um, is it's going to create that uh, URL. Uh, this is the URL that you will now be putting in when you traffic. Uh, just to be clear, um, the URL that you'll be using uh, in the actual BRAX uh, system is only uh, everything behind the question mark because the rest we're going to put for you automatically, uh, dynamically. So. Uh, for, for the sake of this test, we're going to go ahead and just take the whole URL and I'm going to load an incognito uh, window and go ahead and load this URL. And I'm going to type everything uh, in here manually. So I'll go um, source test 111 campaign test. And you'll want to do this, obviously, always be testing uh, 111 medium. <coughs> So this is going to be some site com, and then the term uh, in this case is usually where we pass in a widget uh, ID, and then finally the add ID is what goes here. And um, once we have that, um, again, that part is usually taken care of by Brax. Um, we'll hit enter, and uh, what you can see is it takes us to the page, and it also make sure that those parameters are still there that's fantastic so that tells us that it's working if you want to tr uh, triple check it what you can also do is be in your Google Analytics and you can see there's some site.com source test 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 one uh, somebody's landed on that blog post fantastic um, you can even refresh your analytics here depending on uh, how quick Google Analytics is and you should see that campaign uh, pop up here um, and this takes a few moments to update, but it's obviously there because it's in live traffic. Um, the next thing we want to do is just confirm that it's showing up in volume as well. So we'll go ahead and trigger a conversion, and we can simply do that by just going to a, a landing page. So I'll do that now. Um, I'll select the thank you page um, and just go to it right away. This will fire the conversion pixel, and now if I go into back into volume I should be able to see that under conversion so if I go to my conversions and I give it a few seconds um, and just keep hitting refresh I should see that conversion and I'll know it's worked properly because those variables that I set earlier I should see the new one and I think we called it source 11111 so I'll hit refresh again um, and there it is it just popped up uh, and you can see all the parameters are there so now when you are creating ads uh, the only part of the URL that you'll have to post here is everything uh, prior to the question mark. So uh, as you can tell before, um, we basically only need this part. Uh, everything else will be done by the system. It'll put the question mark and everything after. Uh, so just do remember that it is not necessary to put anything else besides this part of the volume link uh, to make and everything else will be appended automatically. What this does, it'll automatically allow BRAX uh, in your uh, campaigns. Uh, you should be able to now, um, once you integrate with Volume and Google Analytics, once you've done that from the integrations page here, uh, that does have its own separate video, you'll be able to see um, revenue uh, from imported metrics. You'll be able to see revenue, conversions, as well as anything from Google Analytics right side by side by your spend, and you'll be able to run rules against it. Uh, and that's the setup for volume uh, with all the different ad networks in Google Analytics. Thank you.